Okay, how do you do fellow YouTubers? Back in with me, Ezra. And this is my new Lego former, General Cree. General Cree, as you can see, is a helicopter. And yes, it's a green. Green Lego former again. Shut up. But yeah, this is this is General Cree and as and uh, his name is not really my idea. His name is came from someone else, from my friend Gal Prime, the one that gave me the name, that gave me names for Alpha Pavonis before. And also, as as like with Alpha Pavonis, he also makes some short bio story that you can read on the description below, like Alpha Pavonis before. And yeah, I really recommend you to read it because it's it's quite cool. But yeah, let's just let's just get into the figure. As you can see, it's a helicopter, a green helicopter. This one is best to be around that anymore. And the the only feature he has is spinning rotor. <laughs> yeah, that's all he has. Is is a really minifig size or else? But really, I think the shaping is successful here. I think he looks pretty cool here and pretty slick for to be a helicopter here. So yeah, I think he's 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 quite successful. The tail is a little thick here, but yeah, it's I think it's still forgivable. And on the back, you can see there's a little bit of thruster here, and here and here. Yeah, it's not really makes sense for a helicopter to have track thruster, but hey, it's cool. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, I guess that's all for the helicopter mod. I guess. Let me just give you a quick 360. <laughs> oh yeah, and the, and, the, and, the helicopter, and the cockpit here. It's quite cool too. And just, just normal cockpit. The cockpit and the rotor and the propeller is taken from the from rotor straight without a net. With no chance at all. And the cockpit, if you want, you can open it, but it's just hole and the head is right there. And in fact, if you turn it around, you can practically see it here, but hey. But if, if you want to use your imagination, you can take this as not some kind of head, but some kind of camera. And this you can take as some kind of landing gear here. Like the helicopter you usually have, some sort. Yeah, I think I think the shaping is quite cool. So let me just show you a 360. Quick 360 here. So, yeah. Here. And here and uh there yeah i think from the bottom you can practically guess what his what's he gonna be which part become what but yeah i think this guy is i'm not really making this guy to be really complicated and just and just trying to make this guy simple and fun to transform but yeah let's just get to the, to the transformation here so first thing just adjust the camera a little bit to give it more room for me yeah now first thing you want to do here is fold the rotor here so just fold it like this and then the other side like that yeah there you get that is the rotor done and then focus come on okay and then you, you open the cockpit like this just to get it out of the way and then the next thing is oh right and the next thing is this part the head just bring it down as far as you can, you don't want to 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 be here on, the, on this position. You want it to be down like that. There's a reason for that. I'm gonna explain it later. Uh, and then the next thing is let me just make myself comfortable here. The next thing is you want to bring the the all the side part here, bring it up, and then down. And this will actually obviously become his arm. And do the same on the other side. Let me just show you here. Up and down. Yeah. All arm done. And with all of that done, you can bring this part down. And that's why you want to the head to be all the way down. Because there's practically oh man. There's practically very little clearance here if you see. Yeah. And what is in this position? You don't want to continue it. You want to fold this part here down, and basically let me just get 
this arm out of the way just show you you want this part come on focus focus there you go you want this part here this this part here to enter on this crevice right here on this crevice right here so let me just show you here so you bring this down and down and keep it like that and you enter the crevice there and that's what will lock this chest into place and then you just bring the arm down and bring the head up and if you want you can say this is done like this is some kind of hover mode so like a drone mode here like he can fly and stuff hovering and shooting people and oh wait 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 on the arm here you just want to fold this part so just fold it like that just to give it more good shape here and on the other side too just show you focus oh come on camera work with me camera ah there you are yeah i just fold it up like that it should be fine it's all you can say it's done like hovering but of course if you don't like this part don't like the hovering look you can give him a leg too so do that what you want to do here let's just get to the back push it this this out like that and you want to separate these studs here over here from the slots over here right here where my finger is yeah you just do that and then just to equal this and separate this and at this part bring it back just as far as you can let me just uh, let me just that's basically done let me just get him situate, situated so that I can review him just fine give me a moment here uh, this guy is little bit fiddly on the leg <sighs> let me just I'm sorry if all of this goes out of camera but if you excuse me I will I think I think that's 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 pretty good actually. That should be fun. The... Yeah, this takes me a few minutes just to just all of this. I'm sorry, but yeah, more or less. Wait, let me just bring this down. Oh wait, and the head. Oh, the head is already up already. Yeah, for bring him back a little bit more yeah that's that's the robot mode as you can see and yeah i think it's pretty cool it's it's not really a not really a complicated transformation a little bit fitly but not really complicated but yeah i think that's that works for him so as you can see here is some kind of robot general tree here is some kind of drone like as you can see here. if you see on the head yes yeah, mono eye here and the mode here i think it's the white head here, I think, works pretty good for him. And let me just adjust that. And uh, the overall shape is, I think, is pretty pretty good. Yeah, and uh, and the arm here, as you can see, he ha he's using some kind of weapon here. This guy is heavily inspired by Obsidian. So if you think the a transformation is familiar like Obsidian, that's why the Beast Machine is Obsidian. If you don't know who Obsidian is, Google it up on the FWiki. You should find him there. It's just some kind of weapon here uh shooter like on a obsidian there i said obsidian doesn't have a mono eye but yeah and uh <laughs> pretty cool and the phone article is and uh let me just show you how big this guy is there's the guy with gdo max as usual my usual comparison and as you can see here he's just he's just little bit shorter just a little bit shorter than max here so yeah i think he's roughly on voyager size pretty good pretty pretty good and, uh, and and for articulations let me just show you quickly the head can goes down that way far far goes up that far 
Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, and this part is some kind of color. You can just, yeah, that's just. And the uh, and his shoulder is on the ball joint here, so you can turn it three hundred and sixty. If it's not for this part, camera focus. Oh, it can and it can go out that far. And and the elbow is on the on the swivel here, so you can go bend that far. So yeah, it's pretty good. And the uh, and the legs, the upper legs on a ball joint there, so you can move it front that far. Move it back if you get it back that far. And you can go out that far. And uh, this on the pole joint too here. So and go back and forth that far. Go back that far. Yeah, not too far, but enough, I think. In the feet, there's nothing. Oh, and this guy has quite, quite a big heel here. So you don't have to worry about him falling over. Yeah. I think his, his work works for him so yeah we just adjust him here so yeah that's general Cree overall and I uh, and the back as if you see the back here there's not much of a chunk here so I guess that's a plus two although the chest is a little bit far but yeah a lot of transformer does that too so why not just, I just stand him here. Yeah. I guess I cover all of these things for him. So, yeah. So, that's all I want to say for, for this guy. So, thank you for watching. See you next time on the next video.